In this video, a progressive YouTuber argues why universal basic income does not decentivize work. We should just pay everybody in the military $1,000 a month. Everybody, across the board. I mean, that's all it takes, right? And especially with them, they got housing, cheap food, health care, recreation, they're on post. I don't know. I guess they have a job that just has to be done, right? It's funny because I think we just all learned that a whole lot of minimum wage jobs are essential. They have to be done. And that's where this argument gets pointed to. It will disincentivize work for those at the bottom, for those making minimum wage. Thousand bucks a month. See, I don't know. Are they somehow different? Do they have a different character? Are they different kinds of people? Do they not want more? Do they not deserve more? See, a thousand dollars a month, that's awfully close to minimum wage. So why would they, why would they work though, if they could get it for free? See, the fundamental argument here is that they are different. They have a different character. Being poor is a lack of cash, not a lack of character. They want better just like everybody else. It's human nature. It would not disincentivize work. You know what? Instead of providing a universal basic income, why don't we provide the necessary resources for survival? Food, shelter, clothing. We're the wealthiest nation on earth. We have a overabundance of assets. We, every single person can have a a, a sustained life with the necessary resources for survival without working for somebody else or selling goods for profit. And you know what? That won't disincentivize work because there's things called luxuries, sports cars, vacations, eating out, extra TVs, cool clothes. We're still going to want more resources, folks. They Look, look at consumerism. We advertise products all the time, things that we don't need. So we're going to work for things we don't need. So people are going to take the crappy jobs that people don't like. Yes, they're going to take those crappy jobs that people don't like because they like luxury. The problem is, folks, we are begging the government to provide resources necessary for survival. And we're working for them. You have to work to survive? And even when you work, even if you work 40 hours, you're still not guaranteed to survive. That is the moral problem in America.